This is going to be a quick little video on using Process Hacker to allow you to attach a debugger to a game that might have anti-debug such as Call of Duty World of War. So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and play, turn on God Mode so I don't die. And we're going to start, go ahead and attach to Call of Duty and search for our ammo. So I just shot, so currently my ammo is 7. Shoot again, 6. Shoot again, 5. Let's check this one should be it. Change it back to 8. And as you can see, my ammo is refilled. So this is our value. So for now, I'm just going to copy the address. But if we right click, find out what accesses or find out what writes to this address, this is what we get. We cannot attach the debugger to this process. So one way that that's pretty common to go about doing that, but it doesn't seem to work, at least for me in this game, is to use, let me show you, go to Edit, Settings, Debugger options is to use VH Debugger. Now I want to go ahead and switch to that and show you my case of what happens. You launch Cheat Engine. Go ahead and attach, edit, settings, debugger options. Use VH Debugger. And I'm going to go ahead and add that address. It's pointing to the right one. Now I can right click, find out what accesses it. And the debugger seems to be attached, but nothing happens. So I'm going to shoot. As you can see, no instructions appear. So that's what we're going to resolve. So I'm going to go ahead and close down Cheat Engine again. Relaunch it, and I'm going to switch back to uh, Settings, Debugger Options, go back to Windows Debugger. I'm going to go ahead and reattach to Call of Duty. Re-add that address, which is at 4. Go ahead and change it back to 8, so I'm full. And now we're going to use Process Hacker. So, we launch Process Hacker. We need to find Call of Duty War to War. We can just search it, or in my case, it's right under here, under Explorer. So we find COD, War to War.exe, right-click, Miscellaneous, Detach from Debugger. Press that. Go ahead and minimize Process Hacker. I'm stuck. There we go. Now when we go into Cheat Engine, we have our ammo value here. We can right click, find out what accesses it, attach. As you can see, it is now functional. Now we can just go ahead and find out what writes to it, and every time we fire, but it's five shots. As you can see, it tells us everything that is writing to it when we fire. So we now actually have uh, the Cheat Engine debugger attached to the War to War process, and it's working. So that's going to be all for this one. That was just a quick example when you have something frustrating, especially considering it's an older game that might have just simple anti-debug features built into it. So as usual, I will see you in the next video.